watching Fred's videos on uh, objectifying and misogyny and things like this, I've been curious about, you know, just the artistic aspect of it. Um, you know, I mean, people that have seen your videos, Fred, would not necessarily understand that where that art comes from. I, I get it. Because there's an artist mentality that's very... Um, because there's a challenging artist mentality. I've known very people, you know, even people that are you know, timid, which I wouldn't call you timid, but, you know, that have really um, sharp or grinding or harsh or, you know, ideas. Sometimes they just don't get it. They go there with such innocence. But in your case, I don't really get that. I mean, it's not an innocence, you know. You know you're doing something uh, shocking and juxtaposed. And when people react to that the way you would expect with emotions, you know, you can't be too surprised. But then, you know, people might be hurt. I'm usually willing to just take someone's art or leave it generally doing criticism when I like it or if it's having some sort of an influence that I want to comment on um, I do think that there is a, an essence of you know sometimes there's liberal guys and like every you know someone tells them that you know a woman meets because I know you're want to have sex with me or you know you're interested me with your eyes you know and they want to be well no I'm not no I'm not but then they're honest maybe a little hardcore art side to them maybe a little punk rock fan going on and uh, <coughs> that's just the way that it is but, um, but yeah, you know, you, uh, you're trying to, to generalize. I mean, so the person in that situation is just like, well, I'm liberal, but I'm also honest. I'm an artist. I'm going to admit. Yeah, I, every time I see a woman, I size her up for sex. Right? And, uh, so, it, that's a kind of liberality in a way. It's like, yes, when a woman dresses provocatively, she's have to, asking to have sex, but not necessarily with me, and it doesn't mean you can go ahead and have sex with her. So it's kind of a, a way to get back to a liberal feeling. But the problem is this generalization that it's also an excuse to generalize where evolution in your history has brought you into everybody. Now the video that's talking about objects and the tree is an object and to me this is interesting because I really don't believe in objectifying the world at all. There are no objects. What we call an object is just a, a a statistical grouping uh, of an individual cluster of features. At the edge, the cluster is always blurry, but you know, at certain scales, the scale of the threshold can be sharp, like the difference between your skin and the air touching your skin. But there literally are no objects. Everything is a system shouldn't objectify a woman, you shouldn't objectify a tree, they're not objects. The problem here is that it's a system in reality, but you have to understand it as an object. You're the person that has to tally it up and check off a checkbox, it is this or not. It doesn't have to do that, it does, that is not part of its essence. Anytime you think of an object like, there's a tree, yeah, there's a system over there that corresponds to your idea to this mo model and idea of a tree. And it's in your head. That idea, that model is in your head. That's the point. The object is always in your head. 
anytime you have an opinion about an object, it's actually something in your head, a reputation, potentially a bias or even a bigotry. But it's always something you formulated in your head. It's not in the thing itself. The thing can't be an object. Nothing is an object. Everything is a system. Everything is a system, and the parts of the systems, well, maybe those are objects. No, those are systems, down to the quarks. Quark is a system of energy. Everything is a system. Energy is a system of fields.